Hi. Thank you, Stealth. Yeah, I obviously didn't break, take a break in between. I decided I'm going to continue and finally finish State Centaur. Oh no, I didn't mean to wake you up this soon. I'm sorry. Want to go back and curl up again? You were being very cute. So, let's continue to the cage tower. Who's walking from the camera to my lap? Or not. Ugh, cats. Oh, cage tower is what's up here, by the way. Oh no, not a random battle! Ah! Oh, I am slightly injured. Probably should have healed. Oh well. I'm not that concerned. I can use healing items, push comes a shove, and everything here should be really low level for us at this point. Because we're doing this so out of order. I mean, seriously, that gave us 60 XP. 6-0. All right, it's locked. Good thing we have this credit card. Credit cards open all sorts of doors. No loot in here. Uh, good adventurers go left. We'll go left first. Apparently that was the correct choice. Oh yeah, I should probably not have Zed up here since we haven't met Zed at the point of this point in the game. Okay. I vaguely remember Cage Tower. So, these enemies, I'm just going to be doing normal and ca normal battle. In fact, I'm actually going to switch to auto battle. Because, um, yeah, nothing in here is a threat to us at this point. Yeah, there is loot in here. I thought. Press craft. No more loot. Okay. No loot in this one. Just the button. I think it soon disappeared. I'll place Maya here. Like that. There we go. some heal berries. So that's a plus. And run back. Yeah, a lot of these dungeons are the uh, old mid-90s style of let's waste time by making you walk back and forth constantly dungeons. We saw a lot of that in Beyond the Beyond. Uh, it doesn't bother me as much in Wild Arms as it did in Beyond the Beyond, but that doesn't mean it doesn't bother me. Yeah, they can't even damage me. How is that supposed to be a fair fight? We can go through here. Up the floor. Or, yeah, up the floor. No sound of anything here. As long as we keep moving, this is not a big deal. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There is loot in here. Round shield. Bullet clip. And the prism laser! So this is actually hitting a group. Very similar to the rocket launcher, only this is more like blast the spell. Um, we're going to be upping the hit percentage on Prism Light because I'm actually going to use this without having to lock on from time to time. Although not now. Um, we got something else in here. Oh yeah, that's right, the shield. I think round shield is for Rudy. Yeah. Increases defense by six and try parry rate by 4%, but I think I prefer having gobs of hit points. 
Although at the moment, Rudy's injured anyway, so the gobs are good points though. Gotta hit the button. And gotta hit this button. And we can go up. This is not really that difficult of a puzzle. I don't quite understand the point of it. This is just space. Yep, still don't care about these enemies. I mean, if I really wanted to, I would go back to town and hit the Armsmeister, but I I don't think it's going to be needed for a boss. Prism Ray is more uh, Prism Ray is the only one of Rudy's arms that I use on normal enemies. Until the end of the game, at least. More comments on the Facebooks. Ah. Just touching on finally finishing up watching the video, it looks like. Eh. Safe point. Hint. Something weird's gonna happen. Ooh, I need to back up saves. Just dawned on me that this is my last opening, is it? No, second to last opening. I need a scene. I'm sorry for putting Maya in your spot. Is that what you were concerned about? No, I did not want to hit the save. Sun rises from the east and sets in the west. Rises from the east again to light the path for the insecure. Rises from the east and sets in the west. Then rises from the east again for the insecure. Doll. Go doll! Not a good sign when you're given three of the, hey, look, if you die, you get re auto revived once items all at once. Let's go ahead and maybe use it here. Ah, random encounters. moves. Yeah, critters are hard to hit sometimes. But... I think I'm still heading up. Hope I did not just accidentally backtrack. That would be annoying. No, I did not. Okay, good. And we're outdoors. Climbing a tower to the top. End! Hi! So, you're working for the Guardians. You! Yeah, Jack recognizes that being. A statue in the human town. It will be destroyed. Unlike Berserk, I don't like making a mess out of it. I'm going to need a few minutes to complete my experiments in town. Here, you guys can play with my friend. I promise you won't be disappointed. Nothing. It looks like a dragon, actually. So, that is an end gaunt. I'm pretty sure that has no items. End gaunt. Nope, no items. Nope, I... 
forgot to remove out of battle. Although, to be fair, Incons are probably not strong enough for me to care that much. Yeah, they're hitting Cecilia for less damage than normal enemies were in the previous dungeon. Okay, let's try to make short work out of this, shall we? Divide shot. Um, we'll go with Rage on Rudy. Wait, no, let's not go with Rage on Rudy yet. We're gonna go with Light Blow on Rudy. Oh, I forgot to refill ammo on that. Yeah. Alright, how many hit points you got? It missed. Uh. Mysterious Ray? How mysterious. Arm lock on rocket launcher and time to see how much damage rocket launcher does assuming it lives long enough that was 1100 damage on something that probably wasn't supposed to have that much damage done to it and arm lock on this is definitely not something that's supposed to exist at that time that did nearly 2000 damage and is repeatable Her guardian doesn't help. You know what? Just rage jack. Pretty sure it's gonna die like next round or something. All oh, abilities are raised by 10%. I think that might be 10% for saying loss. It's still up. Julia. Um. Take a look at my list. I have not done Mystic Chic Bolaro. Whatever it does, it hits everybody. Okay, maybe Rage was a bad idea on Jack. Well, not that big of a deal. Anger- Oh, that just raged everybody. Welp. There goes Control. Not that it mattered. Normal enemies were giving me more loot than that. So. Our statue is in danger. We must get out of here. Yes, I see. I wonder what Al Hassad meant by experiment. Did we do something about this barrier? Chunk. No. But. It's a girl that we totally don't know is Calamity Jane. This is her theme, by the way. Yes, I understand. Oh, this is the evil Night Gaunt. These people are just like us. They're bounty hunters. They apparently killed the Night Gaunt. Master, what should we do? Yeah, do something, will ya? So you want to get out, huh? Well, how much is it worth to you? You have my bounty and I need the cash. Money? You want money? We tried to save the world and you're asking for money. Give me a break. I don't give a damn what you're trying to save. All I care about is money. It's simple as that. Damn it, how much you want? How about 2,000 gala? There's no way we can pay that much. As you didn't notice, we gained 3,500 from defeating the boss. Like I said, I really don't care. You want out or not? 
By the way, we actually don't have a choice. Nothing's gonna happen if you stay here, you know. See, it's just an infinite loop. That's more like it. Watch this. Bow. Yep. She is an arm user. Just like Rudy, she uses an arm. I'm Jane Maxwell. I'm known locally as the most beautiful woman here, next to my sister. She's known as Calamity Jane in some parts. This little girlie is Calamity Jane. So Calamity Jane is actually one year younger than Rudy, if I remember right. So in this version, Calamity Jane's 16. And in the original, she was 13. Wrong with being a little girl? Don't tell them anything, McDullen. Excuse me. Here's my money. We had a deal, remember? Hand it over. 2,000 gala. Deal's a deal. Don't hate me. See ya! See, now we actually get introduced to Calamity Jane, unlike before. And so, yeah, now I can actually talk about the other part. So, Calamity Jane Maxwell. So, Jane Maxwell. The main character of Wild Arms 3 is Virginia Maxwell. Yep. Oh, yeah, can I just cast Escape? Yes, I can. Is it just going to put me back where I'm standing? No, good. Did not want to have to walk through that again. Notice that there's an item shop here now. It's usually a bad sign when you see item shops appear. Because it means that you can no longer reach the other item shop. Welcome back to St. Centaur. I was hoping that we'd be able to delay this longer. Everything's quiet. Eerily quiet. There's no one here some empty beds. Plus side, there's nobody here. We can go rescue loot. Ambrosia. So if you're going to duplicate a healing item, Ambrosia is what you duplicate. That is full hit points to everyone in the party. Also recovers all status effects. Also, look at the statue. Yep. The statue is speaking directly into my mind. I am the sacred spirit, Aeon Pala. My powers are weakening. Take what I have left and use it against the demons. Eight rune acquired. Last seal has been broken. Demon Queen will return. They do actually keep track of which one you do in what order. I've definitely never done it in this order. I can't believe my mother's teardrop is being used to destroy the world. Any way we can stop them? Just crash their party and kick their butts. Been waiting for this for a long time. Anyway, the town looks completely deserted. I wonder what happened. I wonder if this was the experiment that the demon was talking about. Finish looting. Oh, by the way, random battles are in St. Centaur now. Let's just switch back to auto battle, because these enemies are, once more, not worth our time. So, oh, church. Church is definitely desecrated at this point. But, he's still here. I've been hiding in my house all this time. What happened to the town? I felt some strange energy surrounding this place. Have you figured it out yet? Don't worry, they'll actually piece it together for us. So I'm not going to say it out loud yet. Continuing on. Yep, we need to grab that treasure chest. Just switch to hand pan because I don't want to have to walk that much. Lucky card. Then we had the one that the puppy was so graciously guarding constantly. It's a bone. 
Um, the bone is actually a really interesting item. The reason why it's interesting is that you can use it for Mystic, and only use it for Mystic. There's no other way in the game to use the bone. And it is a very important thing to Mystic. Because it activates an ability that you can't get in Wild Arms 1 any other way, if I remember right. No, no, you can get it later on, I think. It's definitely the earliest way to get that ability. But it's something that we didn't need up until a little bit later. Anybody here? Yeah, there's basically nobody in town other than the blind girl. We could walk downstairs here now. Which is just a bullet clip and nothing else. I don't even know why they bothered with the sliding blocks. There's nothing else here. Okay. That's not true. I know there's something in the tavern, wasn't it? Hmm, that's weird. Anyway. Um, I'll show you what the bone does once, you know, I can actually mystic again. That requires enemies that, you know, have loot. Or have hit points. Alright. Remember how to do this one. Pretty sure we can't right now. No, we can. There we go. Yep, and that's a duplicator, which we can't carry because we're maxed out on duplicators. I would basically have to do some um, game editing to be able to bring our duplicator amount back to normal. And I'm not going to worry too much about it because, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's find the pub. Up here. Oh, there's actually an enemy type we haven't seen over here. I mean, it's probably going to die in one hit. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll see the palette swap version later. Here's the pub. Yeah. I don't know why the radar didn't pick that up. Potion berry. Potion berry. Secret sign. Oh. Well, let's definitely drop heal blade down to one. We can't drop it any further. Next up, I'm dropping Trickster. Because that's our next most commonly used fast draw. Uh, Trickster will be dropped to one, then I'll start working on doing attacks. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Alright. Um... Eight, slot 8 is the only slot I have left, so I'm going to back up the saves after this uh, recording. Right. So, have you figured it out yet? What we've become afraid of has just become a reality. The Queen Mother, Lord of the Demons, have risen from her deep sleep. The seal no longer holds back the ripples of darkness from spreading. This will be the last transmission of my thoughts. This will be the last transmission of my thoughts. Warriors and the Innocent One, go to the source of the ripples of darkness. Final battleground is the snow-covered demon castle in the far northern plains. The voice is thinning. The waking of Mother is overcoming the Guardian's powers. The northern edge of Vilgaia. Did he say the snowy plains? That's it. Demons are living in Arctica. A vengeance is about to be fulfilled. We must find a way north. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out, Jack is Garrett. <laughs> I. There's no other way for me to state it. Jack is Garrett. Jack. Where did everybody else go? Mother sequence. I can see. What a wonderful wasteland. Where life is in its last whisper. 
the visions on our eyes, all the bloodshed, all the tragedies, not a nightmare, but a beautiful reality. The teardrop was potent. How ironic that the life force of Bogaya gives life to its conqueror. New music. Yep. That is mother. My little Zeke and all my children. Thank you for awakening me from the eternal stillness. We, the Quarter Knights, have long awaited for your awakening. You can relax now, children. I am here. We shall bring humbleness to this place called Vilgai. Life will end and we will prosper. Destruction to all life. Beauty lies in complete destruction. Is that when we get to rule the world? Rule. Order. What do these things have to do with me? Vilgaia will just end up like the other worlds I've been to. The flame of life is the most beautiful at its scattering end. The end of a planet is the ultimate beauty supplied by the universe. You're saying we're not going to win a second home here on Vilgaia? Then to win back our lost home. Hyades was only my last stop. You were only newborns at the time. I saw the magnificent fall of that planet with my own eyes. Uh, what? So, uh, what do we do after we destroy Vilgaia? Do not worry, my child. I shall complete the beauty myself by devouring all that is left here. You will be burned on the eternal flames of your own mother's appetite. No other heaven exists in the universe. Yep. Mother's an omnicinal maniac and wants to destroy all life. So, I remember, right? I'm trying to remember. Is it in the cage tower? <sighs> I actually missed? Oh no, never mind. They missed me. That makes more sense. I seem to remember that in the cage tower itself is where the hint was. Nope. Never mind. Not in here. So yeah. People are just gone. That's probably due to the weird out of orderness that I did this in. That's my guess at least. So now we can go back to Vulcanon Trap and actually finish things, in theory. I have no idea, because we kind of haven't been given this part of the plot. At all. Whoops. So I'm checking in on Adelaide. Because I have something in my inventory that Emma might want to see. Oh, sorry for the mouse cursor. Also need to actually reload my arm. Oh, right, that's at the end. Really bored lately. Um, how about this blue virtue? Oh, okay. Yep, you are going to increase hit percentage on the prism ray. also going to be hitting increasing ATP, but dang, I'm getting a lot of notifications from something. You notice how cheap it is to upgrade? The Prism Ray is not actually that good of an item. It's only upgrading by 5 ATP.
basically upgrading until it costs 5,000. And that's as much as I can afford. I've spent all my money on arm upgrades because Rudy desperately needed better arms. I'm fully healed. That's weird. Oh yeah. Heads. Oh, it does. Okay, I am alive. Okay. Oh, saving. I'm gonna save over the same slot just because Adelaide's much closer to. Walking on trap. And push comes to shove, if I need to save a new slot, I can use slot two. I just don't like to. Okay, we're saving over Saint Centaur because there was nothing there, basically. Walking on trap. By the way, it says trap in the name. Just saying. Let's get through this pretty quick, hopefully. Actually, these are powerful enough where I should at least... I mean, I'm pretty sure that Sonic Buster is going to be enough to take them all out. If not, we can I can show you what Prism Ray looks like, but... Oh, one of them is going to get Prism Ray. Prism Ray. That's Prism Ray. It hits an entire group. Just going back to where we were, so. Let's just loot. It's over here, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> Healing, that's fine. We're just gonna die. That's annoying. You live. That's fine. Um, to circlet, Rudy. Yeah, he wasn't gonna live. Solved. Darn it, I win her in the loop. Hi. Oh no, I do, don't have it equipped. Okay. Mystic. 
over harp yourself. There. Oh, like silencing gritty matters. Yeah, here is ah, Dang it. I just lost like 500 hit points from that. This is why I try to be careful when I'm using speed up. But I'm being impatient. This is unfortunate for me. Oh, you're also confusing, Rudy. Sweet. I really need to just equip the Prevent Silence on Cecilia. Oh, her luck's down to normal. I should pay attention to that. That explains why she's getting hit by things. And also a Violet Rose for Cecilia. I don't care about Rudy being silent. And confusion will clear itself up. Trying to get those diagonals back when I was playing on a PS1 with a D pad was annoying. Screw it, I'm probably just gonna run over the damn lava. Don't care about healing. I don't even care that much about confusion. But not like these enemies are hard, it's just annoying. Good enough. All right, so this side. Now we have to go all the way down to the basement and hopefully we'll actually be told what the hell to do. Oh, I'm really hoping I haven't broken the game by the order that I did things in. Plus, I'd, now I know when we would unsequence break. Ah, damn it. There we go. Aw, yeah, Zed, at your service. It makes me wonder if that would have worked without me going to St. Centaur first. The execution begin. I'm up and totally ready to go, dude. Here we go again. You're the fool who thinks he's a match for me. This time, it's gonna be different. No sunny breakfast for you tomorrow! Aw, yes. I'm cranking up the music. Let's go. You can hear the voices of awe. I'm being praised as the best of the best. I should look up to see what that one actually means. Oh, that did far less damage than it should have. Kill Cecilia. Lock on, rocket launcher. Oh. I have so many of these I need to look up. Rudy's late power surge. Not that that's going to matter too much, to be honest. Just look at how 
much damage he does. Okay. I'm doing over a thousand damage now. So, it's that one. Luigi, Luchin, Run, Boosh. Um, Imperial Prince's Madman Dance. Guardian's useless. Uh, nobody even needs healing. Why not? Actually, no. I need to def up. Meteor dive. Sorry, I'm dealing with feline assistance. Uh, okay, which one's the one that does death? Mage stick. On rocket launcher. There we go. What I think I might do after this battle is reload, or after this run, um, reload from before completing Saint Centaur and seeing if I can get away with not doing it. as well heal hey look let's arm lock on again yeah i was about to say zed's gotta go down at any moment hey what are you doing stop no wait herc we actually defeated zed we get 1800 xp zed doesn't have any money by the way you're getting on my nerves next time you won't get off so easily next time no more mr nice guy Poof! A bomb. Yep, I'm gonna temporarily save over here. I'm kind of thinking that I want to reload and see if I can get away without doing Saint Centaur at all. Because it's silly and I kind of want to do it, so I'm going to. Well, let's see.
probably here that I can reload to. The only thing that I would lose is the prism ray and to... Actually, if I load from the cage tower, I wouldn't even lose the loot. That's not a bad idea. Let's see what happens. Casting escape, which will allow me to run away. I've gotten all the loot, I just don't have... So if I go back to Saint Center, everybody should be around. I'm gonna double check. Because this is the most crack thing that I have done this game. And I want to continue it because it's fun. I mean, you've already seen now what happens to Saint Centaur. So it's no longer a spoiler. Which was one of my concerns. Yep, normal town music. Okay, we're fine. So now I'm going to go back and basically redo this again. Might just cut this out. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna be right back. I'm going to just do this really fast. Hello again. So I just got back to the same spot without having to go through Saint Centaur because I'm still really curious as to how in the world this works. Um, I don't think we have a battle here, but I'm just healing up just in case. Hey, look. It's Berserk. Apparently this is supposed to be Berserk's theme. It's not actually. They have a unique theme. This is just the Invasion of Demons theme. But they have a unique theme for Berserk in the remake. <laughs> that was funny. Alice Hod suggested that if we were to spread rumors about the Guardian Blade, you fools would show up. And you fools did. <laughs> My stomach still hurts from all the laughing. The Guardian Blade you fools are looking for is gone. It was lost a thousand years ago. You know the ocean of sand in the middle of Hilgaia? That's the power of the Guardian Blade. It destroyed the demons, the humans, and all of Filgaia. In the end, it destroyed itself. You took such a long journey for nothing, haha! <laughs> but you don't have to worry about the trip home. I'll take care of it for you. I'll bury you guys right here, right now. This is the reason why I chose this ruin for our fight. Uh, no way, it can't be. My powers are being drained away. Because. This one's starting to glow too. I gotta break it. Yep. He did not expect Calamity Jane. If you get any more excited, the ruins will collapse. Bang. Yep. I don't need any help from any enhancing machines. I am a nightcrawler. Beware, human. Okay, we do have to fight both bosses. <coughs> I'm getting weak, but I'll never yield to a human. Dive. Probably should have healed to say a little bit, but that's fine. Armor down. This time I got smart and actually remembered that I have debuffs. Berserk Breaker! Yeah, he does a lot of damage. He goes last. I'm not as concerned about that. Heal thyself. Arm lock on rocket launcher. Through the face. And then heal the rest of the way. Sixteen twelve. Disrupting flail! That doesn't do much damage. I think that one actually has a status effect associated with it. Oh, um, does Berserk actually have items? I forgot to look. 
Berserk. No. Um, we're going to cast Shield. I need to reorganize my magic on Cecilia because she's she's just really weak against Berserk. And punch in the face. Blaster Howling! Did nothing at all. I don't even know what that attack's supposed to do. I don't know if I've ever seen it do anything. Right, your Guardian's useless. I keep forgetting, but that's the downside with using the Guardian of uh, Death on her. Is it's just useless right now. You know what? Just shield yourself some more. Really, Cecilia is not very useful in this battle because her magic is not powerful enough to really justify using. She's better off just defending people. And you can stack up to three death ups at once for reference. Look how much damage the two of them are doing by comparison. Here, I will actually attack for once. Uh, we'll use flame because equal damage on everything. Well, let's see. Meteor Dive does 1132. Flame, which is her strongest attack other than Valkyrie, may I note, does 451. See the problem? Oh, and Rocket Launcher does nearly two grand. And he's dead. I lost... I can't believe it. Herc. 1900 experience received. Oh, I could have actually lucky card that one. I didn't think any of them dropped money, but I was wrong. And we gained Red Malice. That was the actual only item in here. We haven't been told why we need those. That's the best part. Uh, it takes so long for the memory card to load. <laughs> okay. So if I do need to come back, I can go back and quickly do, um, whatchamacallit. Can I just cast Escape from here? No. Damn it. I think that happened last time, too. There we go. Can't believe I lost to a human. I'll get you next time. How oh, pitiful. You used all your powers and you still lost. And against humans of all things. Who was that? No way! You're not even a council member! Give me a hand, gather my body parts, and take me back to the photosphere. I have no interest in... I have no hand to give to a loser. Herc dead. Climb, climb humans, climb out of here to the level of my dreams. Yeah, Berserk's dead now, by the way. Herc. Ouch, why is there an earthquake here? Trunk. Rudy jumped in and dodged. Why did he plan on staying on top of me? That's a little perverted. I think it's more explicitly perverted in the remake or Japanese versions. Hey, you crushed the treasures! What the hell are you doing? Look at this! Here's Rudy's second and last line of the game. Hey, I'm sorry, all right? It won't happen again. But, my lady, under the circumstances, I think he did the right thing. Your safety is the mo most important thing to me. I know, I know. Don't start on me with that again. Thanks for saving my life. Remember, you can't buy life, but there are sure a lot of other things you can buy in this world. Yep, we can't get that. It also doesn't appear on radar. It'd be a nice touch if it did. All right. And we leave Vulcan on trap.
So this is going to be an interesting sequence because Mother is technically not freed yet. Zerk was defeated by the humans. He ruined the plan I graciously gave him. Really can't teach an old dog new tricks. Sorry, that's supposed to be at a higher pitch. I'm very bad at remembering what voice to use or what. No need to laugh at his scattered remains. I heard it was a death befitting of him. Now that he's gone, we can have all the fun. With him gone, we can't call... Oh, sorry. With him gone, we can't call ourselves the Quarter Knights. See? Mother is fully grown at this point. Don't worry, my children. I already have a replacement in mind. Aw, yeah! Yay! My turn has finally come! With me, the Quarter Knights will revive like a phoenix! Come, Boomerang. Show yourself. Yeah. No, it can't be. He's known as the cannibal, the executioner. A man with his reputation should not be joining the Quarter Knights. Kill other demons was one of my missions. Of course, I didn't have any misgivings about that unimportant mission. I do as I please. Mother, this man is not suitable to be a knight. I can't listen to you on this... I can't listen to you this time, my dear Zeke. Boomerang has a mission. You should understand this. I have told Boomerang to eliminate the humans guided by the Guardians that are preventing us from achieving our goals. I understand, Mother, if you say so. Oh, Zeke, my obedient and dear Zeke. Let me handle the elimination of the humans. I would like to see if they are worth the trouble. Let's go, Lucid. Lucid, by the way, is the Guardian of Desire. That is an actual guardian walking around. Lucid is a very important character in the Wild Arms universe. I just want to stay at my strength right now. That's why I sent him to go after the human beings. Don't worry, Zeke. Does that mean that we're going to launch a major attack soon? Yes, but until then, no one must come near me. Understand, Zeke? I shall activate Sol Deltita. Sodalita? Sodalita. It is the ultimate defensive barrier. It will keep any intruders from entering. There's a reason why our fortress is called the Photosphere, the Sphere of Light. Hmm. He shells chaos and destruction. And Isun, who's very curious. Soon. All right, this is the photosphere. There's the photosphere. Kind of in a tundra area, don't you think? Isin, please stop trying to eat the headphones. What are you folks going to do now? Have some unfinished business. Certainly. We'll miss you. See you again. The small world. And we're back. This is really weird that we've skipped Saint Centaur. I thought that the previous one was a skip, but apparently I just didn't actually try to activate things. Isun is being very squirrely. Uh, yeah, I'm injured. Let's heal. And I think we're probably going to be stopping around here. Um, it's probably right at about an hour at this point. I have to merge the video files together, so I don't know for sure. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I think we need to go talk with Emma next, plot-wise. But again, we're really far out of order at this point. Um, because we skipped St. Centaur, and St. Centaur is kind of important. So, yeah? Let me just see if it triggers from leaving town or entering Adelaide. Otherwise, I'm just going to go over to Adelaide and be done. Let's speed that up. I don't have it highlighted. There we go.
Oh no, not Tetzel Belms. Do you have anything to say yet? Nope. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop here then. Well, actually, let's see if I can donate any more money. Now that I didn't spend a bunch of money on a weapon that I don't have. Or actually, I do have the weapon. I just haven't improved it at all. Yep. Uh, I think it's 20,000 is the maximum at this point. Which I don't have enough money to do, and I'm not going to make myself that level of Lepor. I'm just going to exit, enter, and then save and stop. Hope you've enjoyed this, and I will figure out what in the world to do next. Ugh. Like, um... I mean, the game doesn't really lead you on a leash at this point of the game, if you couldn't tell. Um, but I'm definitely missing random bits of plot, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Also, poor Cecilia is two levels lower than the rest of the party. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and make a save state. And goodbye, Internet. I will see you next time. As will potentially Maya. <laughs>